Hi guys, how are you going? Mark, I'm here. Recently I've been talking to you about lighting, all sorts of camera accessories, and I did show one product that I think people have shown a bit of interest in, so I'll run you through the details of it, and it's this item here. It's called a Rogue Flash Bender. You can see here labelled. The blue stripes are actually like a reinforced metallic item that helps you bend it into any shape that you would like, hence the name Flash Bender. So you get to manoeuvre your light in any direction you wish. You can have it as a tubular form of light if you wish. You can have it bouncing down. You can have it bouncing to one side too, particularly with the light coming and reflecting on one angle. So that's initially what they're all about. Now let me just connect the flash to it so you understand where I'm coming from with this. So if I put this one across here, and it's just really a, a Velcro strap that attaches it to your flash. It's very quick and simple. And there you have it. And now, as I said, you can bend the light in any direction you like, and that'll enable the light to come at a down angle in that manner. So I think that they're actually pretty useful and keen. I really uh, enjoy the versatility of them. For, you know, what the $100 or so they cost, they give you a lot of scope and options with a speed light like this. Uh, but that's not all they are. They are actually a softbox as well, as I did previously illustrate. But it's actually all in one unit. So how can I uh, show that for you? If I just place this down and I just flatten that off there, I'll show you what you got comes with this little, as you can see, screen here for the softbox attachment and it's very simple to apply. I'll just put it down because it is a little bit easier to illustrate but it's simply go line up the velcro one side, line up the velcro the other side, you open it up because this little tongue area here has to go down first and that keeps all that in place. So now you just put your little velcro strap over the top and you fastened it and on the back here you can see the reflective silver hood on the top but well, what you want to do is just cover that over. A few little clips here just to secure it, make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And there you go, you've got a perfect little softbox arrangement. Just pulling the tongue down keeps it all in shape. Now I myself have made very primitive little wire uh, frames for inside and what they simply do is they just keep the thing puffed out. So on long extended activities, uh, you're not having the thing crush in on itself and not be effective. And you may not notice it's doing that. So is it easy to fix? Yeah, just push it out and there's no problem. But sometimes you just forget to do that. So with the little wire rig that I made up here, just make sure that it's always open and, and the light is bouncing around well inside them. And that of course works exactly the same for the larger unit. So I have the larger unit here. I'll just illustrate that one for you. As you can see, you've got the same configuration the metal frame which can flex in any direction and don't worry you can bend that as many times as you like it's never going to break or get damaged uh, I'll just pull it off here we use the same speed light when I open it up you'll see how quick and simple it is to attach this one has a little bit more reinforcing because it's a bigger unit so it's a little bit more weight but once you've got it on that's the procedure there and you can see you've got a now very very large reflective board for your light. So as the light comes up, it not only projects forward, but it also can project down. So you're getting sort of multi-directional light there. Of course, you know, you can have it straight, have it to one side and get the light coming onto a side that way if that suits your purpose. And you can. Here we go. Just maneuver it around when you attach the Velcro. And there you go. You can form yourself like a little spotlight with it and flash very intense light on a subject. So it really is a very versatile unit. Uh, you've got, of course, the uh, softbox attachment to put on with it. I've mentioned I've made frames for them. I make a frame. The only reason I make the frame is to guarantee that it stays out and it's puffed up because, you know, when I'm out and about, I'll often forget to keep adjusting it endlessly and uh, this way I can be guaranteed good results. So, so it all just comes... I'll get rid of that, actually. We don't need to illustrate that anymore. I'll just put that down there. When you do put this on, it's very, very important to always make sure this little tongue component here is down first. So then when you fasten it, nice and tight. You want it as tight as is practical to make it because that way you know secure it, it's not going to fall off. Always pull the little tongue down. Once you get it on properly in the first place, it's all good. So there we go, got the tongue, press that down. And then once you uh, attach it all together, you've got a great little softbox arrangement. See little press studs there. And there you go. You're right to go. Portable little softbox anywhere you want to go. And believe me, they do work excellently. A lot of my portrait photography is taken with this when, when I'm out on site because I can't take 
you know, half a dozen soft boxes and all sorts of studio lighting with me, it becomes too awkward. But uh, one or two of these around, you've got a great light source with you. And it's very versatile, you know, bend light, uh, use it as a soft box, deflecting, you know, strong strobe light. Why wouldn't you have one for the $100 that they are?